Thanks for tuning in. Nick Moon here at Tone Proper AV. We are deep in the bunker of Tone Proper, and we are here to take a look today at the JTS R4 4 channel wireless system. All right, so let's take a look here. So the JTS, uh, JTS is one of those interesting companies that you've probably used their stuff, uh, but you don't know who they are. Uh, that's because JTS is kind of an OEM manufacturer. They make stuff for Sennheiser, RF Venue, Audix. Uh, if you look through some of their stuff, you'll recognize uh, that it's probably some JTS stuff. Um, definitely a, you know, a price point product. You know, if you're, you know, if you're like me and you're using, you know, buyer TG1000s or ULXD or, you know, whatever, um, you know, this is not that product. This is a, you know, a budget 1U, four channel uh, wireless box that's, you know, under a couple of grand. Uh, so you're in a, you know, in a, in a different ballpark, but, you know, still really good. Uh, it's got a lot of great features, including Remo set, which we'll talk about, uh, antenna cascading, and, uh, and of course is rack density, you know, four channels and one rack space. Pretty cool stuff. Let's dive in. All right. So unboxing here, um, it's all packaged really well. Uh, pretty good setup there. Um, you're going to get a big box in here. It's going to have all your cables, antennas. They give you a lot of jumpers for all of your uh, XLRs, stuff like that. Um, a few things you're going to want to notice is that you're going to have antenna jumpers, XLR jumpers, and even some power jumpers. Everything is cascaded. So if you had, um, let's say, like four of these units, um, you know, you'd be able to link them all together and have one AC, one set of antennas, and in theory, um, you could take all the XLRs, cascade them as well. Uh, that is for the mixed AF output. Wouldn't recommend that, but you could. And then only have a few XLR outputs. So, all right, let's take a look at some on-screen uh, stuff here. Uh, the main menu here is the setup. It's a long hold. This is gonna tell you, show you that you've got no signal here, obviously, because I don't have anything plugged in. But these are all four channels on one screen. Um, and your main setup window is going to be here, a hold for long hold. And then you've got your system options, user groups, and then it's going to go each channel. So you can edit each channel manually. Now, um, uh, this might be a good time to dive into uh, your ID, which is different than your group and channel. So let's take a quick uh, overview of what Remo Set is and how that works. Okay, so Remo Set. Uh, the way Remo Set works, it uses a 2.4 gigahertz um, uh, syncing frequency to send all of the data that you've put in on the receiver to the microphone. Uh, so it doesn't use IR, so there's no little thing to slide up and then you put in front there and you hold and you sync it that way. The cool thing about this is if you had four or eight or 16 channels or whatever, you can set that up in, in, in each bank of four. So you're syncing all the microphones at once, which is pretty, uh, pr pretty cool. And this, the microphones and packs can still be out on stage while you do this. So also pretty slick. So the big, the big thing here is that groups and channels are not the same as ID. So ID is your Remo set information. So if I have ID, this is a four channel unit, if I have ID one, two, three, and four set on here, I need to have all of my mics set to unique IDs, corresponding one, two, three, four. So if I want this to be channel one on my wireless system, I need to put channel one on ID one, which of course by default, they're going to come one to four. This microphone I have here is already set to ID one. Um, keep in mind, if you set up a bunch of stuff on here and then you Remo set it, the settings that are here are going to transmit to here. So you're going to have to do it again. So it's better to do it here. Um, so I'll show you how that works. Um, I'll zoom in here in a second and we'll, we'll do that. But uh, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to set my ID and group and channel information. Again, uh, I'll back up really quick. Make sure you scan for available channels depending on where you are. That's going to change. Uh, there's some really good resources online. Uh, sure is a great place to look. Uh, you can type in your zip code and they'll give you kind of areas and, and um, frequencies to stay away from, stuff like that. So uh, now that I have my ID set, I'm gonna walk over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna do Remo set, which is this blue flashing light, making it painfully obvious what you need to do. So I've got ID one set here, ID one set here, 
Uh, this is just a default is group one, channel one. I'm gonna hit Remo set. It's gonna say syncing. and it's synced. So a few things to note on here, um, you've got a volume control on each channel. Now this volume control is not the same as your sensitivity. Um, that's something that is a little confusing and we've had people kind of ask about that. So this volume is kind of like, think of it like a fader. Um, it's not your sensitivity, it's not your gain. So I'm talking in this microphone, this is not the same as gain. So you can see here, if I turn this way down to minus 26, my AF, my audio frequency is still there. Um, and if I turn it all the way up, my audio frequency does not change. That's because this is kind of a, uh, this is like I said, a mixer or an output type thing. Um, so be aware of that. If you've got really weak uh, signal and you see a lot of signal here, but you're not getting anything on the mixer, it's because of that. So that's a little bit of annoying um, uh, thing to uh, keep an eye out on. Uh, other than that, the layout of everything is pretty straightforward. This main setup window I really dig because you can see all your frequencies for all four channels. You can see what group, what channel, and what ID, and what audio level on the output it is. So that's a really, this screen you could kind of live on uh, since it shows a lot of stuff. Okay, we're now at the back of the unit. Um, a few things, again, to keep, an, uh, keep aware of and uh, areas we've seen people have some issues. Uh, you have power in, power cascade out, which they include a jumper cable. Now here is where the antennas can get a little wonky. This is your antenna A and B for your quarter wave antenna. But if you were to be doing any antenna cascading, that would be done here. Um, I've seen people plugging antennas in here and not getting uh, any signal, and that's because that's not your antenna. Um, so let's say you had another unit below this, you would be syncing your antennas here, and you'd only have one set of antennas on the, whichever unit you would want, which would be like this unit. Um, hopefully that makes sense. These are your individual outputs, one, two, three, and four, uh, and it does have a mixed sum, which is this one here. Um, the cool thing about that is, um, you know, if there was ever a need, you were out of channels on your mixer, uh, for example, and you just needed all four channels to come out, you would send it out here and all four channels would be summed into here. And then that is where your little fader thing we talked about, which is here. Remember this, your volume, which is not doing anything with sensitivity, that is where you could kind of treat this as a little bit of a mini mixer. So if you were on a corporate gig and you forgot your mixer, let's say, and you just took this out to a speaker, you could you could do that in theory and mix it all from the, uh, the front of the unit. Uh, so could be handy, could also be uh, kind of a pain in the butt if you uh, aren't watching out for that. So that's a couple little things that we have learned using this unit. So yeah, all in all, pretty darn good unit. Uh, definitely recommend as a you know budget piece. If you're trying to get a lot of wireless into a small space, definitely something to take a look at. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Well, thanks for stopping by our channel. We hope that you enjoyed this content. Make sure you hit the like button and comment below your thoughts. Also, to get more great content like this, hit subscribe and click the bell icon to get notifications when we release our next video.